Melissa. Happy Thursday. It is Throwback Thursday and that means on Silhouette School um, that I do a live on the Throwback Bundle that we have brought back on our sister site, So Fonzie. So today we have brought back the uber popular mandala bundle. Everybody loves mandalas. So um, this one is back today only. And we are going to do a fun little project with a couple of the designs that are in the mandala bundle. So it's 87 designs. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it comes out to 17 cents each. So, and they're all commercial use. So this is perfect. I find these are, this little project that we're gonna do, um, we are making bag tags. This is um, a double-sided sublimation bag tag. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, I'm gonna, this is what they look like. They're just blank. Um, and you can make all kinds of different ones. Obviously, this is a California. The All the states, all the Mandela states come with it along with a bunch of other, so a bunch of other designs, which we are going to do a couple of them. So what I wanna show you is how it looks in Silhouette Studio, how you get it from Silhouette Studio to your printer to the bag tag, okay? All right, so this is the one that I, whoops, you can't see that, can you? Oh boy, all right, please hold. Okay. You see my computer? Okay, so this is the design. It has the two Californias, and then I have another one that says anywhere but Gnome. Get it? It's a little pun, gnome pun, for travel, because these are for your suitcase or whatever. Um, and so what I do here is I put the set this as the um, pay, printer size, okay, which my sublimation printer is connected. And then I select the entire thing, and I do a file save selection and save it to my hard drive all right and what that does is it allows me i'm going to call it tags five because i have a couple of other ones already i'm going to save it as a jpeg and i'm going to increase the dots per inch or dpi you might hear people say and what that does is it just gives it a high resolution then i have the sawgrass print manager and it's up here on the top of my computer which i you probably can't see i'm sure um, but what I do is I just click that and I click, whoops, I'm going to cancel that for one second. I'm going to click um, open local file. And what this does, the reason that I'm doing it this way is so that I can use the Sawgrass Print Manager um, and that gives me the best colors. Okay, so see how vibrant that is? That's what I want for my bag, my tags, my sublimation. All right. And then it comes up here in the print manager and then I'm just going to click print. And, okay. Okay. That's cool. Your trial has expired. What? Uh, what is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. Not really sure about that. Let's just uh, sign out and try that again. Yes. Okay. So let me just try this one more time. Fortunately, I have printed an extra in case we need it. Ran into trouble, which I never anticipated this kind of trouble, but let's just see what happens. Um, so I'm launching Sawgrass Print Manager again. <laughs> uh, file. Open local file. Where is it? Okay. Oh. All right, okay, please open. Okay, let's try this again. Open local file, we're opening the tags. Again, if you're just joining, this is what was exported from Silhouette Studio. I wanna make sure I'm using a Unisub, so I have that set here, and then I'm just going to click print, and hopefully it's going to print this time. So now it's just gonna print on my sublimation printer here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tags and the template for this um, is free. And I'll tell you where to get. We have all of the templates for all of the different Unisub blanks. I think there's about 50 of them. Um, they're free to download on SoFancy as well. Okay. But today we are using um, the Mandala bundle. And all I did with that is I put it on a patterned background. I filled the template shape with all, the, as you can see, these various uh, patterns and then I put my mandala on top this one I released the compound path and just filled the background with the, the peach color and then had white and these other ones I just kept the mandala white um, this is how it prints out so just so you know it comes um, it comes 
in very faint, all right, when it prints. And then once you apply heat and pressure with your heat press, um, you will get these vibrant colors. So this is literally the same thing. And as you, as you see, I printed in reverse because you are flipping your design onto, you're flipping your print onto your, um, your tag or whatever your whatever uh, uh, whatever substrate you are using okay so here's our print okay so now all i'm gonna do is this not the best way you don't even have to weed these mandalas i love this okay so now i'm just gonna cut these apart all right and we can quickly apply them to our tags so i'm gonna move you over here so you can see this now um i have this little that just helps me so I don't. So now we'll take this, line it up, okay? You can see I have a little bit of a bleed area. I'm gonna try to get this so it's, okay. And since I are, I have one here that I need to do the back of, I, I'm doing double-sided, um, so I'm just gonna throw this one on the back of that. Okay. And you want the, um, you want the um, sublimation paper to be up so the heat hits it. You also may want to um, put some tape on here so this doesn't move, but I'm being uh, lazy about that. Okay, and then 400 for 60 seconds, okay? So once you do for 400 for 60 seconds, it's just gonna come off and you just peel the paper off. Now I will tell you, it gets extremely hot. So just be really careful. Um, and then, you, when you get the tags, they come with the plastic loop. So you just loop that through and you're done. Now, I literally made these all in just a couple, very couple minutes. Um, if you have, you know, teachers that need a little gift, I'm gonna, I, I just made like 10 with California, so I'll probably just give them to my girlfriends that live here, um, you know, that they can put on there. But no one is gonna be taking your bag if you have this. It'll be easy to identify your, your black suitcase, right? Does everybody not have a black or a blue or a green suitcase? They all look the same. Um, okay, and like I said, you were doing double-sided, so that's why I print two. The tags are from Unisub. Um, I think Swing, I don't think, has them on their site right yet, but they will be getting them very shortly. Uh, but if you are interested in, now let's try this mandala. One. I mean, it's, it's so hot. Hold on. I've got to wait a second. Hopefully you can see. Um, so these come out so hot. But this is the one with the gnome mandala gnome also from that same bundle so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the back side of that so i'll just line up the back and once this cools down a little bit i'll be able to handle it a little bit easier um okay gosh it's hot i need really you need gloves honestly um but let me just show you these so all the states, like I said, if you're interested in the um, designs, these are all, including the gnome, they're all from the uh, Mandala bundle. There's 87 designs, including all of the states, okay? The patterns are from various places. Um, but you can obviously use them as cut files, like to cut on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl or, or a stencil. I have used them as digital designs for sublimation, as you can see. Okay, so let's try to do this real quick, this part. Okay. So to do the back, just gonna line that up again, put that on there, and press for another 60 seconds. And once we have that, then we will have our double-sided tag, okay? All right, you guys, if you, if you wanna wait around for another 49 seconds till this one's done, that's great. If not, no worries. Um, if you are interested, if you are a Mandala fan, I would head over and grab this because it's literally only around until midnight Eastern tonight and um, it's like 88% off. Um, so you want to go grab it. Um, but I'm going to get that and then we will, as soon as this is done, I'll show you. But I do want you to be aware when you're doing sublimation and if you're asking about the printer, it's a sublimation printer, which I threw the link up top for you. Don't be alarmed if your sublimation prints come out like this. They will still print like this. It's the heat and pressure 
uh, activate those vibrant, big, vibrant colors, okay? And this has what you call hand. This has no hand. So it is into that uh, thing. It's completely smooth. It's, you know, microwavable if you want to put it on there. Washable, whatever. Um, it's not going to rub off. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Let's put this one behind it so you can see. Ah! That one's hot too. Okay, hold on. Put one behind it so you can try to see. Can you see? Okay, cool. All right, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Head over. All the links for everything are up top if you're interested. See you soon.